Welcome to the season of self-love, your daily dose of inspiration and encouragement. I'm your host, Naomi Banks, and I am thrilled to be here with you today. This podcast is brought to you by Ask Naomi and Elevate Me Self-Discovery. Are you ready to elevate your mindset and embrace the power of self-love? Or have you come to the right place? Each day we'll dive into topics that will empower and inspire you on your journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. Whether you're looking to cultivate healthy relationships, boost your confidence, or find balance in your life, this podcast is here to support your every step of the way. We believe that self-love is the foundation of living a fulfilled and joyful life. And together we explore practical tips, insightful interviews, and transformative stories that will leave you feeling inspired and motivated. So join me Monday through Friday as we embark on this daily adventure of self-love. Tune in to the Season of Self Love podcast to start your day on a positive note and discover the limitless potential within yourself. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. And welcome, my beautiful people, to the Season of Self Love podcast. I am your host, Naomi Banks. And today, um, today we are going to dive deep into a topic that is essentially for our well-being and the importance of prioritizing self-care and practices. So in our fast-paced world and taking time for ourselves, it's more crucial than ever. So let's take a quick break, and when we come back, let's talk about defining what self-care is, all right? It's your girl, goddess, number banks here on the Season of Self-Love Podcast, and we'll be right back. Hey, it's Dr. Will with the Washington Wellness Institute. Here at the Institute, we focus on so many different things, but our biggest focus is modernizing how we take mental illness into holistic wellness and making healing a lifestyle. So if you're interested in taking the next steps, whether it's a clinician, community member, or simply just a friend, sign up today for a 15-minute consultation. You won't regret it. Be kind to yourself and heal always. Love Podcast with Naomi Banks where every day is a chance to embrace self-discovery and personal growth. Join Naomi on a transformative journey, streaming exclusively on Spotify and Raker. With daily episodes from Monday through Friday, podcast is your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and self-love. Dive deep into engaging conversations about self-care, mindfulness, and personal development. Naomi brings you expert insights, practical tips, and uplifting stories from thought leaders in the field. Embark on a journey of self-discovery and unlock the power of self-love. Mark your calendars and tune in to the Season of Self-Love podcast, available every weekday on Spotify and Spreaker. Remember, it's time to prioritize yourself and embrace the beautiful season of self-love. Get inspired and join Naomi Banks on the Season of Self-Love podcast. All right, welcome back. It's your girl, Goddess Nami Banks here on the Season of Self-Love podcast. And today we're talking about the importance of prioritizing self-care practices. So let's do this. Let's start by grounding ourselves with a simple breathing exercise. Um, so if you will find a comfortable position. Now, as you breathe in deeply, I want you to imagine drawing peace and calm. And exhale slowly by releasing any stress or any tension. I want you to let this breathing exercise be a moment of connection to yourself. Now close your eyes. Now take a deep breath in through your nose for a count of four, allowing your lungs to fill with fresh air. I want you to hold that breath at the top of the count of two, feeling warmth and energy of the breath within you. Now slowly exhale through your mouth for a count of six, releasing any tension or stress from your body. Now pause briefly for a moment of your exhale, feeling a sense of relaxation that washes over you. I want you to repeat this breathing pattern just for a few more cycles. Focusing on the gentle rhythm of your breath. Now, as you breathe, bring the awareness to the present moment, letting go of any worries or distractions. Now, with each inhale, envision yourself filling up with self-love, 
compassion and inner peace. So with each exhale, I want you to release self-doubt, criticism, or any negative emotions that no longer serves you. So when you are ready, gradually open your eyes and take a moment to practice this sense of calm clarity that you have cultivated. All right, I want you to remember that self-care is a vital practice that nurtures your mind, body, and spirit. And I want you to use this breathing exercise as a starting point to prioritize yourself in your well-healing as well as your well-being. All right, so the topic today is the importance of prioritizing self-care. And if you're new here to the season of Self Love Podcast, it's something that we do every day. This is a part of our self-care routine to where it helps ground us and prepare us to receive whatever message that it is for this topic today uh, for you. All right, again, the topic for today is defining self-care and its benefits. And self-care is um, many action to where we deliberately take to care take care of our mental, emotional, and physical health. It's just not a luxury. It's vital. So proper self-care can enhance our mood and reduce anxiety and improve our physical health. It's about making ourselves a priority in nurturing and loving ourselves. So right now, I'm going to give you several types of self-care practices. And when it comes to self-care, um, self-care comes in many forms. It comes in um, physical self-care that includes activities like yoga or nourishing meals, as well as emotional self-care, which could be journaling or therapy. Social self-care it involves connecting with loved ones, and spiritual self-care might mean meditation or spending time in nature. So if you heard those, those things, I'm going to share with you some of my personal favorites um, that help uplift my spirit. So one of my favorite spiritual self-cares is meditation. Meditation, mindfulness, visualization. I love, especially in the morning, I love to be able to visualize, meditate. I do a meditation and prayer every morning. And it helps to ground me and prepare me for the day ahead. Um, I love to love grounding. I love spending time in a park. That's another part of my self-care. I love walking in a park a lot of times, barefoot a lot of times. I am a tree hugger <laughs> that I go and I touch the trees with my palms here where I am to um, release that energy, negativity energy, you know what I mean, like that, as well as I love emotional um, self-care, which is journaling. That is, it truly helped me with my healing and my self-care, um, self-care process and my um, routine on a daily, excuse me, I'm getting a little tongue-tied. But what that does, it helps me to stay in the zone. It helps me to stay in, in the zone. Yeah, it does. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break, and then I'm going to come back. And when I come back, my beautiful people, we're going to talk a little bit more on it. All right? It's your girlie goddess, Naomi Banks, here on this season of Self Love Podcast. And we'll be right back. This March... Ask Naomi. Bridging the Gap presents to extraordinary guests who are breaking boundaries and sharing their unique perspectives. On March 14th, join us as we welcome Brian Reeves, a former U.S. Air Force officer turned relationship coach and author of Choose Her Every Day or Leave. Get ready for an eye-opening discussion on love, relationships, and the power of daily choices. Then, on March 28th, Prepare to be captivated by Curtis and Remy Martin from the iconic Moonlight Bunny Ranch in Nevada. Hear her inspiring story as she challenges stereotypes and shines a light on the world of the sex work. Don't miss these compelling conversations. Subscribe now and tune in to Ask Naomi, Bridging the Gap. Welcome back, it's your girl, the goddess, Nami Banks here on the Season of Self-Love Podcast. And today we're talking about the importance of prioritizing self-care practices. And in this segment, we're talking about overcoming barriers to self-care. See, many of us face obstacles to consistent self-care, whether it's a lack of time, guilt, or not knowing where to start. So let's talk about breaking down these barriers. And I want you to remember that self-care isn't selfish, it is necessary. So when setting boundaries and scheduling self-care time, it can be a very powerful step towards making it a priority. So just the other day, 
I was told that I was type A personality. Now, this wasn't the first time that I've that I've heard it. So, um, but I kind of knew sort of, you know, what the overall definition definition of it was. But I kept saying, why do you know this still keeps coming to me that I'm a type A? So I went to look it all up. And and this is what I figured. I figured if I knew what type A pers uh, personality really meant, that it could help me to be better on my self love journey. So as we're talking about overcoming barriers to self-care, I want to get into knowing who and what these personalities are and where and where they can be explained at. So, okay, so this is what I want you all to do right now. I want you to get your pen and paper ready because I am going to give you a breakdown on what type personalities that you are. So I'm going to read down what the definitions of, of them are, but also I'm going to give you the tools the ways to be able to overcome those blockage, all right? And this just may crack the door a little bit open for you. All right, so again, remember, I am a type A personality. Okay, for a type A person, let's explore how individuals and different these personalities can be. So when approaching self-care, there are three top ways for each of these overcome barriers for self-care. Again, Type one, type A, there are individuals who are often competitive, ambitious, and high achieving. They tend to be workaholics and may struggle to slow down and prioritize self-care. Yes, this is me. This is so me. And with this, the barriers to help to overcome these barriers is schedule dedicated self-care time in your schedule and treat it as non-negotiable. The next one is practice mindfulness and relaxation techniques to help you to reduce stress and anxiety. And the last one is to delegate tasks and learn to say no to additional responsibilities to create more time for yourself. Now, out of those three, I'm going to be very honest. I only do two on a regular. I only do two on a regular. And the two that I usually do is I practice mindfulness and relaxation tips. And I do schedule dedicated um, self-care time. Now, sometimes it does become ne um, negotiable depending on what's going on in my life. All right, so type B personalities in their meaning. Type B individuals are more laid back, creative, and flex flexible people. They may struggle with consistency in self-care practices and prioritizing their own needs. And top ways to overcome barriers to this to for self love is to create a simple self care routine that is enjoyable and easy to maintain. Also, set realistic goals for self care activities and celebrate small achievements. And lastly, find a self care buddy or accountability partner to help you stay on track. Next, we're going to go to Type C personality, meaning Type C individuals are detail oriented cautious and may have difficulty in expressing their emotions. So they may be neglect, they may neglect self-care due to focusing on responsibility and comforting of others. So how can we overcome those barriers to self-care? Well, first, practice self-compassion and allow yourself to prioritize your well-being without feeling guilty. And two, engage in creative self-care activities that allow for self-expression and emotions to release. Three is seek professional help or support groups to address underlying emotional issues that may be hindering your self-care. All right, in another type of personality is type D. Yes, we are going through the A, B, C, Ds right now. It's A, B, C, D, E, and R. Those are the type personalities right now. Right now, we are at type D. And type D personality is individual experience negative emotions like anxiety and depression. And they may have a hard time reaching out for help and may neglect self-care due to feelings of unworthiness. And to overcome these barriers is to engage in activities that promote self-soothing and relaxation such as meditation and yoga. Another thing to do is practice self-awareness and challenge negative self-talk through positive affirmation. And last is to build a support network of friends, family, or professionals to provide an emotional 
support and encouragement. All right, another one is a type E personality. So type E individuals are empathetic, they're compassionate, and they excel in interpersonal relationships. So this may prioritize the needs of others other than their own and neglect their own self-care. So these are some top ways that you can be able to overcome those barriers and set boundaries with others to protect your time and energy for self-care activities. Um, as well as practice self-compassion and treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding as you show to others. And lastly, engage in self-care activities that nurture your emotional well-being and allow for personal growth. Now, the last one is a type R personality. And the type R individuals are risk takers, thrill seekers, and enjoy pushing boundaries. They may neglect self-care due to a focus on adrenaline and fuel activities and a desire for constant excitement. And top ways to overcome these barriers to self-care is to balance the high intensity and in activities with restorable self-care practices like meditation and nature walk. The next one is to set limits on risky behaviors and prioritize the activities that promote physical and mental well-being. And next, to seek out new and challenging self-care experience to satisfy your craving for excitement while maintaining a healthy balance. So what I want you to remember by me just telling you all of this is, first of all, see which one of you are. See if you're type A, type B, type C, type D, E, or R. And to be very honest, you might be a combination of more than one. More than one. But also, I want you to remember that self-care is essential for overall well-being and finding strategies that are aligned with your personality type. And it can help make self-care more effective and sustainable. So let's take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to talk more about creating a personalized self-care routine for you, all right? It's your girl, Goddess Nani Banks, here on the Season of Self-Love Podcast, and we'll be right back. This March... Ask Naomi, Bridging the Gap presents to extraordinary guests who are breaking boundaries and sharing their unique perspectives. On March 14th, join us as we welcome Brian Reeves, a former U.S. Air Force officer turned relationship coach and author of Choose Her Every Day or Leave. Get ready for an eye-opening discussion on love, relationships, and the power of daily choices. Then, on March 28th, Prepare to be captivated by Curtis and Remy Martin from the iconic Moonlight Bunny Ranch in Nevada. Hear her inspiring story as she challenges stereotypes and shines a light on the world of sex work. Don't miss these compelling conversations. Subscribe now and tune in to Ask Naomi, Bridging the Gap. Hey, it's Dr. Will with the Washington Wellness Institute. Here at the Institute, we focus on so many different things, but our biggest focus is modernizing how we take mental illness into holistic wellness and making healing a lifestyle. So if you're interested in taking the next steps, whether it's a clinician, community member, or simply just a friend, sign up today for a 15-minute consultation. You won't regret it. Be kind to yourself and heal always. All right, my beautiful people, well, welcome back. This is your girl, Goddess Nami Banks here on the season of self-love. And today we're talking about the, the importance of prioritizing self-care practices. And in this segment, it's all about creating a personalized self-care routine. So developing self-care routines that resonate with you is key. You want to start small, choosing activities that bring you joy. And remember, consistency is more important than intensity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide you through some questions to help you to craft a routine that fits your unique lifestyle and needs. So again, I'm going to break it down like this. I'm going to break it down where um, we're doing different type personalities from type A, B, C, D, E in our uh, personalities. So I hope that you remember which one you are. So here are some questions that are tailored to guide you individually with these different types of personalities, all right? They can help you to uh, prioritize your self-care routine, to help you create and craft one. All right, so for my type A personalities, first question that you should ask yourself is how can you schedule regular breaks 
throughout your day to recharge and to prevent burnout. Again, this is a question that you need to ask yourself so it can help, help you to be able to craft a successful self-care routine. One is, how can you schedule regular breaks throughout your day to recharge and prevent burnout? All right, number two question, and this is for type A personalities. What specific activities can you incorporate into your routine to help you to relax and unwind? What specific activities can you incorporate into your routine to help you relax and unwind? Again, these are questions for type A personalities to help them, to help you to prioritize self-care to schedule you one. All right, the third one is how can you set boundaries to ensure that works that the work doesn't overshadow your self-care practices? All right, for type B personalities, one question that you need to ask is what leisure activities do you enjoy that can be incorporated into your daily or weekly routine? Number two is how can you create a flexible self-care plan that adapts to your changing moods and interests? And the last one, what strategies can you use to maintain consistency in self-care practices without feeling overwhelmed? All right, now for my type C personalities. I hope y'all remember to what type C personalities is. If not, you can always rewind, go back into... um, into the podcast, but one, one of the questions that you need to ask yourself if you're a type C personality is how can you balance your need for structure and routine with spontaneity of self-care activities? The second question, what emotional outlets or creative pursuits resonate with you that can be integrated into your routine? And three, in what ways can you cultivate self-compassion and prioritize your well-being without sacrificing your sense of responsibilities. All right, now for my type D personalities. Here are some questions that you need to ask yourself. How can you create a self-care routine that addresses both your physical and emotional well-being? Number two question, what self-care rituals can help you to manage stress and anxiety effectively? And number three, How are there support systems or resources you can utilize to enhance your self-care practices and address underlining emotional changes? All right, now for questions to ask for my type E personalities. How can you incorporate opportunities for learning and personal growth into your self-care routine? And also, what outdoor or nature-based activities resonate with you that can bring you a sense of rejuvenation? And lastly, for my type E personalities, how can you strike a balance between social interactions and a long time to meet your self-care needs? All right, so for my daredevils, my type R personalities, here are three questions that you need to ask yourself when scheduling or trying to create you a self-care routine or practice? How can you infuse your self-care routine with a variety and excitement to keep it engaging? Two, what physical activities or adventures pursuits align with your risk-taking nature that can boost your well-being? And three, how can you leverage your resilience and adaptability in overcoming obstacles to your consistent self-care practices? You see, these questions are designed to prompt reflections and assist individuals of different personality types and is tailoring to your self-care routine and to your unique lifestyle and preferences, all right? So let's do this. Let's take a quick break, and then when we come back, when we come back, we're going to close it off. We're going to close it off, all right? It's your girl, Goddess Nami Banks here on the Season of Self Love Podcast, and we'll be right back. Are you ready to kickstart your journey to a healthier, more fulfilling life? Introducing Good Morning My Sexy People, 
90 Days to Kick Off Your Healing Living Journal by Naomi Banks. This transformative journal is your personal guide to achieving physical, mental, and emotional well-being. With its easy-to-follow prompts and powerful exercises, you'll embark on a 90-day healing journey like no other. Each morning, as you open the pages of this journal, you'll discover thought-provoking questions, uplifting affirmations, and space to reflect on your progress. It's your secret weapon to breaking free from old patterns and embracing a healthier, sexier you. Say goodbye to self-doubt and hello to self-love. Good Morning My Sexy People will empower you to make positive changes every single day. You'll develop healthy habits, cultivate gratitude, and unlock your true potential. Whether you're seeking to improve your fitness, boost your confidence, or find inner peace, this journal is your trusted companion. It's the support system you need to stay motivated, focused, and inspired throughout your journey. Don't wait another day to start living your best life. Good morning, my sexy people. 90 days to kick off. Your Healing Living Journal by Naomi Banks is available now on Amazon. Grab your copy today and begin your transformation. Remember, it's time to prioritize yourself, set your intentions, and unleash the sexy, vibrant person within. Get your copy of Good Morning, My Sexy People today and let the healing begin. All right, welcome back, my beautiful people. It's your girl, goddess, Nami Banks, here on the Season of Self Love podcast. And today we were talking about the importance of prioritizing self-care practices. In the last two, um, two segments, we talked about the different types of personality and how we can successfully prioritize self-care. All right, so in this segment, I just want to do a quick uh, self-care check in so I want to take a moment for self-care check-ins. One is, how are you feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? What does your body need? And what is one small act of self-care that you can commit to today? See, these reflection questions can help to pinpoint areas of your life that might need more attention and care. All right, again, I thank you all for just joining me and just sharing this space with me, all right? Today, we explore the profound importance of prioritizing self-care and understanding your personality types. So I want you to remember that you are worthy of the time and the effort that it takes to nurture yourself. And I encourage you to take at least one insight from today's episode and apply it to your life life. And again, my beautiful people, thank you for joining me on this journey towards self-love and prioritizing your self-care. And I want you to remember that your presence here is a beautiful step forward to nurturing yourself. So share your self-care experiences with us and your story could inspire someone else on their path. So until next time, remember to love, care for, and cherish yourself that you truly deserve. All right, keep, be good to one another and yourselves, and always keep it sexy. Have a good one. Thank you for listening to the Season of Self Love podcast. If you have any questions or would like to connect with us, you can follow us on social media. Just search for the Season of Self Love on Instagram. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to email us at elevateme9999 at gmail.com. And remember, you are worthy of love, growth, and happiness. So keep shining bright, and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the season of self-love. Be good to one another in yourselves, and always keep it sexy. Send a light, love, and prayer.